Carlo, let's get straight back into the action. This is a, a vicious race here, whether Dennis can bring a guy around to close him out or whether or Hagen can roll a two first. So every roll is sort of critical. Can Hagen get that two? Or will Dennis bring a, another guy around and attack him on a two point? If Dennis closes him out with a three minute outside, he'll be a good favorite to win a gamut. Even without a builder, Dennis yeah. will hit him with an ace. Obviously. Okay, the six two, it looks like to me, he should make the four point and bring the six out so he's uh, 12 pips away. That's that's good technique. This is bad technique, but okay, it doesn't matter a lot. Okay, and the main thing is O'Hagan unable to roll that, uh, and Dennis unable to hit. The three deuce, he'll probably take it all. Yeah, the two. deuce is consistent with all plays. And uh, the three, he's it's not so to clear up. whether to come up or over. I think I'd. I'd like the other attacker pull. Yeah, I think I would go for the other attacker here, but there are a lot of positions where Snowy likes the other play, weirdly enough, but I, I would go for the other attacker myself, for sure. What does Snowy like? Uh, this is not critical, but every roll, okay, and he's made the play I would make, and O'Hagan now uh, really wants that deuce. No deuce, no deuce, a long time deuceless. And that now again, maybe he'll roll it now when it really becomes critical. No, and an ace will finish him off. No ace. Five. And O'Hagan, desperate for a deuce so he doesn't get gammoned. If he gets gammoned, Dennis will tie up this match. And if he gets closed out, he'll be a favorite of the gammon. Desperate has a million rolls out of deuce, and there it is. And now the process starts over again. <laughs> Dennis is, has to. Uh, Dennis dances, and now he, uh, uh, now he's. Uh, there it and is. there it is. There, there it is. is. The other deuce, not the nice, nicest deuce. In fact, the worst deuce. But he'll settle for it for sure. And slot, I don't think so. Five what? Five three in and out. I think. Yeah, in and out for sure. No question, in and out. And now that O'Hagan oh, still is not out of the woods here, at least he saves a gammon, probably. But the problem is, does he dare come out, which is the best way to win? I don't think so, because that leaves not only aces, but eights. Wow! Look at what he's doing. He's trying to win the game. Well, this is the way to win the game, but it's also he's going to be back. And he got away with it. Aces, eights. No, he's going to get switched on here, Paul. Well, what's the number here? Double three. Switchy. Oh, he's played it cute. And now he's going to get uh, maximum attackers at the other block. And the other three will go to the 14. This is nice. It dupes fives with, yeah. a, with an entering number. And now O'Hagan made a very bold play to win the game there. He needs a five. No five. And Dennis is back on track, perhaps to gammon him if he can pick up the other guy, which he does seven. with a seven. A nice shot. And O'Hagan here in big trouble. He gets one five, fighting back a little bit. Dennis with double threes is unable to hit him. Let's see, what should he do? Mm. He should probably play very big. He should take one guy to his uh, 11 and one guy out. That's what I would do. I mean, yeah, of oh, 17, 6, and 4. I don't know about that. My play is to go full speed all out and take a build of the 11. Okay. End up with three blocks uh, aiming up, aiming at the uh, five point. And just yeah, just yeah. just go and try and kill him on the five yeah. point. Close so him out, win the game, and win the and more important, win the gamma. If he can get a close out, he'll win a gamma. Without a close out, he's not going to win a gamma, and he hasn't done it. This is a chicken play. And now he doesn't have those builders to go for the closeout. Hmm. See, he should be going for the closeout. And in fact, even the race could still be up in doubt conceivably here. Now, with this 5 1, actually, I would make the 7 and split. So, this is also a technical inaccuracy. 
No, and no, he got, no, he's got, he got the five, and this is partly because of the other. No, but he's logged the two and not the five, Paul. Which uh, looks right, looks right to me. Interesting. I think it was the right play. Yeah. And what is this here? Six four. Yeah. See, so not only did Dennis not close him out, but Dennis has not even won the game now because he did not play super aggressively and go for the kill. Uh, you have to, and in back end, you have to really have to sort of, oh, he's getting the voluntary shots here? He gives twos and nines. There's quite a lot of shots. There's 16 shots out of 36. It's almost even money because none of the twos. Wow, what a play this is. It's like the correct play, Paul. Wow, I'm impressed. And he gets hit and covered, right? What is this? Two hit, hit and cover. Hit and cover. Wow, this is unbelievable. And now Dennis must come in, which he doesn't. And now QB is going to come flying back. Here comes QB. <laughs> Here comes QB as Dennis didn't go for the kill and not only did not win the gammon, but now has lost the game. Because the reason he must QB is because sevens and nines, that's like a direct shot. That's 11 numbers uh, right there, plus some other numbers to make a five point board, plus the race is, is, but, as the race is even actually whites ahead in the race, has 11 number shot to hit the second guy. I, I don't this is a must double. No, What's no, he doing? no, Paul, no double, no double. What are you, why, why, what are you talking about? No double. Snowy says this is no double. You can't have, I can't believe that. Oh, it says four, it says it's borderline no double. Okay, he stayed out again, Paul. Maybe this is a double now. For sure it's a double now. I believe, uh, I don't believe Snowy before. I think that, well, I tell you what Snowy is doing. Is Snowy was overlooking, was overplaying the score as Snowy often does. Okay, this is redouble. What's take. happening is O'Hagan is ahead 14 10, but they're playing to 25. If they were playing to 19, it would be a different story. Or, or but yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. Correct double. And a correct double. And, and uh, uh, Snowy says take. The, uh, first Snowy moment. says take. Snowy says take based upon the score. Snowy says this is a take at the score and a pass for money. I say it's a pass in either case. Let's see what Dennis uh, is going to do. Let's see what Dennis is going to do. Dennis played this game a little bit chicken after he had, I mean, this game went back and forth several times. A very, very exciting, very dramatic game. It's and and Dennis didn't get his builders to, to finish him off. And now he's paying a uh, humongous a, price. Is this a big pass or a big take? Taking he's it. taking it. He's, he's taking, taking it. it. This is an incredibly important thing. Now, he's better than even money to hit the other guy, but he missed it. He missed it. And he missed it badly too. Not only that, he can't. He uh, can't play he's safe. He's leave some 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 deadly shots lying around. In a very key crucial situation, he doubled me to four. I agonized over the take. I took it. it uh, the commentators were uh, uh, talking back and forth whether or not it was a technical take or not. So. Eighteen to ten. Eighteen to ten is the right play because you duplicate fours and fives. There's not that many numbers and you keep your attacking potential. And uh, this is very upsetting for Hagen because that's five. And he's played a little, I don't, you see, I don't like this play. He should have been aiming for the second block because his racing advantage is, he made a bad play there. Five, six, he's made, he's made the outside point. He's he made the outside it. point. If he and he does it. want it, of course, because that's the only safe play. And the <laughs> race is still close. No, he's going to have an even race now. Yeah, and he's going to have an even race. That's why I think that. He's, uh, he's two pips down in his race. Yeah. And he's going for that, holding a four cube. Right, and holding a four cube, and now this is the game, anybody's game. And he doesn't get the block safe. No. Now we can hit him with a seven. The race is very close. This game can go either way right now, and he There's hits a seven! A seven. seven. He hits Dennis a seven! Boston. And he's about to redouble the eight. <laughs> Yep, and now he's going to redouble the eight, tie up the match. What an unbelievable game we've just think, witnessed uh, here. White is going to pass this. Of uh, course, White is going to pass this. What an unbelievable game we've just witnessed here. This game has gone back and forth more times as uh, conceivable. <laughs> of course, every possible <laughs> variation. Great plays, terrible plays, incredible so good rolls, incredibly bad rolls. And, and he's going to have to pass old. it. And now, after the smoke clears, it's now 14-14. We're effectively playing 11-point match for the World Championship. O'Hagan is uh, shaken and taking a break, as we will in a second. I took it and was fortunate enough to um, uh, 
uh, it's turned the game around in two roles. It certainly lifted my spirits, and uh, it may have affected him a little bit. Too. Okay, whenever you uh, roll a particularly good shot, for example, double threes in this position, that's referred to as a joker. And if you unexpectedly roll a particularly bad number, that's referred to as an anti-joker.